This is quite an interesting burial ground. The town records show the earliest burials in here registered by the town are 1816. That's Captain Stephen Clement. And that would be his grave out there with the flag closest to the dust and stones. We've uncovered two stones that date back earlier than that. Uh, the first one is 1754. Uh, Peter Currier. He was here a Salem resident. He died at the age of two years of age, and he is his tombstone is buried right over in that vicinity. The um, the next person we've discovered that is um, a little later than him is a very interesting fella. We originally found his footstone that said Captain O E on it, and about a week ago we found his headstone. We first found the footstone, I said to myself, who's Captain O.E.? I went through Gilbert's history of Salem, and we found out Captain O.E. is Captain Obadiah Eastman. Now, for anybody that knows old genealogy or old families, the Eastmans are not really from this vicinity of New Hampshire at that time, Mass. Uh, they're mostly from what today we call Hampton, Seabrook, Exeter, Salisbury, and there are some Eastmans in Amesbury. So what would Obadiah Eastman be doing here in a captain? Well, Captain Obadiah Eastman, I did some genealogy research along with Stone Castle Genealogy out of Ipswich, and we find out that Obadiah was born December 11th, 1721. He died March 28, 1767. He resided in Salem. He was chosen selectman of the town 10 times starting in 1752 as well as treasurer and town moderator in 1764. In 1744 he married Mahitable Watts. Now Mahitable Watts, where we're standing right now Mahitable Watts's family is buried here. Mahitable Watts is the granddaughter of the legendary Hannah Dustin. So that's why Obadiah is buried here. He's buried alongside with many of the other Dustin relatives and descendants that are buried here at the Hale Bridge or North Burial Ground. Um, he was a captain, as we found out from his tombstone. So I start looking into war records of the time, and that would be the historic French Indian War. And I look around, and I'm continuing to do some more research, and I find out the Captain Obadiah Eastman himself served under Rogers Rangers, which we're going to do a whole show, hopefully one day, on Rogers Rangers, so everybody knows who he is, uh, at the battle um, to take back a British fort that was used as a staging point towards the end of the French-Indian War, and that's Crown Point in New York. He was the captain on the uh, expedition on that one for Rogers Rangers. His whole family is decorated with rangers in them. His brother's kids all served. His brother's youngest son served as a private at the Battle of Snowshoes. So the Eastmans are well decorated in the history of this great country of ours. But right now, where I'm standing in front of is Captain Obadiah Eastmans and Peter Currier. Peter Currier, like I said earlier, he was two years old when he died. Probably of some disease like the flu or fever which was very common among kids back then, and even adults. They, you had epidemics that broke out throughout this whole region at different times in history that would wipe out families. You'll sometimes see somebody buried here, and uh, you'll see they had two wives, or sometimes the wives had two husbands. It was very popular back then to pretty much remarry after the death of a loved one. Um, you see that, I'll explain, well, you'll see that in some of the earlier genealogies um, where some of these men or even women had two spouses uh, due to the fact because it was a needful to survive back then, raise the kids, help out around the house. They looked at marriage a little different than we do today. These smaller burial grounds back then had family locations or family plots. Right now I'm standing in the Dustin section. Uh, the Dustins were one of the founding fathers of Salem, New Hampshire. They had, the old farm stand is located on Dustin Drive, not too far from this location. 
right off of Havel Road, actually almost directly across the street is the old barn. And here are some of their descendants that I'm standing behind, their headstones, their footstones are behind me. This is the old man, Tom Dustin. This Tom Dustin here died in 1766. This is one of the earlier ones for Salem. Now the original Tom Dustin actually was born um, the early Tom Dustin. This would have been, these Dustins are related to Hannah. This would have been Hannah's grandson right here, Tom Dustin, this one. He died 1766. So this is one of the earliest stones you're gonna find. And as you can see, the typical uh, headpiece of that time.